To customize S24 Ultra, there are multiple paths to take. The first one is if we open the settings, and from the home page of settings, we locate here the wallpaper and style. In this one, we can change the color palette of our phone. And so if this is on, you can see the user interface elements will have uh, custom colors that we set here. If we go back, you can change your wallpaper as well. And the new feature is the generative wallpapers by Samsung. This uses AI to create a wallpaper. Back in the home page of settings, if we scroll down, below wallpaper and style is themes. In here, we'll be brought to the theme store. Select a theme, uh, let's say this one, and then download the theme. This is going to change the icons of your phone and other UI elements as well. Tap apply here to change the theme or in the Galaxy Theme Store, tap Menu, My Stuff, and you can change the theme here. If you switch your theme, in the My Stuff area is where you would go back to the default. So I'll tap a theme and apply, and it will apply the theme. And you can see it's changed the look and feel of my Galaxy. Back in the settings below themes, we have home screen. This is where you can change the size of your grid. You can change the home screen layout and other options. Lock screen settings, we can change here as well. So if we go to the widgets, we can customize what widgets will show on our lock screen. Always on display. If we tap this here, we can turn on or off the always on display. When to show, if you set this to always, you'll always have the phone on. And when you double tap to wake, you can see the screen will wake. From the log screen, if you long press on the empty space, enter your login, you'll be able to customize the log screen and what items uh, you can quickly launch from the log screen as well. You'll notice when I type on my keyboard, well, that's a little bit weird, I have these effects. This is done by opening the Galaxy Store and you want to get the Keys Cafe app. With the Keys Cafe app, this is going to allow full customization for your keyboard. So what I did personally is I turn on Style My Own Keyboard, and then here I've created themes. There are these default themes you can select. To create a custom theme, you tap the plus, and it's going to open another application. This app is the theme park. You would need to get the theme park from Samsung store as well. And in theme park, you can customize literally every element of the keyboard. You can say I can change the colors. If I go to image, I can change the background image of my keyboard. You can go very wild with this. I'd recommend looking up dedicated tutorials on Kia's Cafe and the theme park if you want to go deep there. And good luck. So this good luck application, this is where you can customize literally every element of your uh, Samsung device. So in the good luck, you can quite literally go through, customize the S Pen, motion wallpapers. There's so much here that I'd recommend watching a dedicated tutorial on GoodLock. The GoodLock app does not support all regions. Just keep that one in mind. But if you are in a region which has GoodLock, then I definitely recommend you get that one. And that's the customization you can do.